it's mail time. YouTube. I am super hyped over the pickups that we got this week. It was a crazy, crazy weekend, man. I got a pair of cream Yeezys. They're not in yet, unfortunately. Other than that, we got a couple boxes here for you guys. So I want two Soul Supremacy auctions. You know what? Let's save that. Freeze. We'll start with this one. While I was trying to get those cream Yeezys, waking up at crazy amount, like 3.30 a.m. in the morning Hawaii time. 3.30. Ugh, it was terrible. Anyway, while I was waiting in a queue for the Adidas.com drop, figured I might as well check out sneakers because they were dropping the Russell Westbrook 31s, or the Why Nots, and I ended up snagging it. So that's this right here. Boom. In my size, super stoked. Russell Westbrook is the freaking man. If he does not win MVP, I'm gonna go on a, I'm gonna go on a rant. I'd be so mad. So mad. Smells amazing. <laughs> but yeah, check these out. These are sick. So, I've never actually worn a 31, but I know for performance, these things are like pretty top end. Like pretty top end. And this colorway just looks really nice. Like it has that elephant print, so it's kind of reminiscent of the J3s. Um, soles. Let me grab both of them for you. When you put them together, soles say why not. I mean, it's just a really nice colorway, and it's a nice shoe. You can see that Russell Westbrook logo right here as well. I was thinking about reselling these, but I'm going to keep these. Um, I'm not a Thunder fan, and I'm not about, like, you know, jumping on the hype train or whatever for whichever team is doing well, like bandwagoning and stuff. I'm actually a JJ Redick fan, so wherever JJ goes, that's where I am. <laughs> Go figure. But Russell Westbrook is having a hell of a year, man. Hell of a year. And I was super stoked to get these shoes. I'm going to be putting them in one of these. Keep them for a while. Hopefully a long while. And maybe on DS them someday. But for now, I'm just going to be happy with these in the case. So, like I was saying, I won two Soul Supremacy auctions this week. Oh, you, gotta, you guys got to see these shoes. I'm going to open this one. Hopefully it's not the one that I'm like really excited about. So... Yeah, let's see, open it up really quick. Good, we're good. So this is the second shoe that I got. And this was the only one that I was kind of really looking at because it's the only one that I really wanted. I'll get to the second one in a minute. From Soul Supremacy Auctions, size 10.5. Take a look right here. I was sad because I've sold like four of these and you know what, I realized after that I didn't keep one for myself. So I had to go back to the auctions and buy these at resale, which is not bad because I mean, like I said, I sold four of these, so I made a lot of money. But yeah, I needed some for myself. So I went back, got some bread ones. Anytime that there's stuff on the auctions, it's usually like pretty dead stock condition or very near. Because if you look over here, that there's like no creasing on this toe box either for a U shoe. So got it for a really good price. Um, original box, got the extra laces in here. Definitely rocking these. I've been kind of making a switch from J4s to J1s, <laughs> so I definitely needed the bands, you know? Anyway, that was the shoe that I was originally going for, and I got these for a good price, like 260 260 for my size. Yeah, couldn't pass that up. But this, Q Grail music. Sipping from your cup till it runs over. Uh, uh, holy grail. Uh. <sighs> I don't know how to edit music in, so... Hopefully there was something there in post, but I'm guessing there wasn't. These were a steal. Like, I, I kept watching it, I kept watching it, and I was thinking, there's no way that this price is going to stay the same. Somehow it stayed the same. There was, like, no choice but for me to scoop this up. I got in on the eBay auction, like, maybe five minutes before. Kept looking at it. Was expecting the price to, like, jump, like, hundreds of dollars. It did not. It jumped, like, 20 bucks. So I put in a max um, bid of $650. It didn't even go to 650. It, I got these shoes 
for $535. And look at this right here. Caught up in all these lights and cameras. Uh, but look what that shit did to Hammer. Uh, God damn it, I like it. Bright lights is enticing. Look Those are all the prices of how much these things actually go for. So as you can see, well over $1,000 with DS pairs like over two grand. So if you guys think of a grail shoe or whatever a grail shoe is, this is a grail shoe. Super stoked. These, my friends, are Miro 7s. Miro 7s. My goodness, I never thought I'd be holding this for the price that I got this at. An absolute steal. I got these for $535. $535, these things reflip for well over $1,000. And this thing is in amazing condition. Like, amazing. You can take a look. Look. Like, where's the flaws at, guys? Tell me where the flaws are at, because I see zero. Awesome. So anyway, a little bit about this shoe. The reason why it's so expensive, obviously limited release, hard to get. These were actually back out in 2008, I believe. Let me check the tag on that. But I'm pretty sure it was 2008. 2008, yeah. So anyway, these were originally thought to be part of the Olympic shoes that we're gonna release because the colorways were kind of reminiscent of the time of Olympic stuff. But actually, Jordan based these off of an artist, uh, Joan, Joanne, Jean, Joan. Anyway, Miro. Miro is his last name. That's why they're called Miro 7s. But they're kind of referenced as Miro slash Olympic 7s because people get confused. Anyway, so Miro does like these really cool paintings and stuff, and like this one was based off of this statue right here actually, which I I don't really understand art too much. I'm very young still, so I don't appreciate like all of that goodness. Like <laughs> these bear bricks are art to me, but yeah, beyond me. Anyway, that colorway and whatnot is very close to this if you can look at it. It's like that spotted paint, and yeah, just really nice. Like oh, Miro set. So sick. Oh, Soul Supremacy. You guys are awesome. Because you guys definitely took a loss on these. And I'm sorry for getting these at a literal steal. Like, literally, this is a steal. I can't even fit this, but I had to buy it because it's $535. Like, everybody that was sleeping because of Cream Easy releases, thank you. Because otherwise, I would not buy these shoes. I tend to never buy shoes at, like, standard resale prices. But this one... It wasn't even close to resell, so that's how that goes. Anyway, this was mail time number five. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys didn't already. We got more shoes coming on the way. Take it easy. Aloha. I'll see you.